So I'm going to give you a rundown of what we kind of have coming up next week. Um, and this, of course, is leading to what we're going to do for the rest of class, but just to make sure we're all on the same page. The first thing I should not have to tell you, but God, you would be surprised. Um, whatever you've decided. And again, you don't have to necessarily know today, but it would be in your best interest to know in the next 24 hours or so what it is you're going to write about. Okay. Movie, show, book, whatever. Pick, pick some. You got to watch that thing. Or read that thing. What happened? If it's a show, pick an episode or two. If it's a half hour show, I'd give you three episodes. But that's it. None of this nonsense where some people want to write about like a whole season like you're crazy. Um, but pick whatever that is and go watch it. I don't care if you watched it last year. That's not recent enough. Go watch it again. Okay. Maybe even take some notes. I don't know. Be crazy a little bit. You got to go do that. Every semester I have people who try to write their paper and it's very obvious they have not watched or read or whatever the thing that they are talking about in a very long time. That is such a terrible idea. I don't know why anyone would do that to themselves. Um, don't be that guy. Okay. The other two things. A proposal um, for your text, whatever it might be. And two bibs. Those two bibs are coming up. Now, Everybody works a little bit differently, and there, there have been some cases, even in my career as a student, when I, I felt like I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to write about, but I, I went and did a little bit of research first, just to see what was out there, and that kind of helped shape what it is I figured out I wanted to do. That's my roundabout way of saying, you can do the proposal first. I think in most cases, that's what people do. That makes sense and or you can kind of do a bib or two for and then to, you know like that's kind of up to you honestly um but my point is what we're going to do for the rest of class uh, we will get out a little bit early i'll let you guys out early on days like this when we do this i want to give you a space a very quiet admittedly boring space to do whatever you want for your paper if it's work on the proposal right now do it if it's Maybe do a little bit of research, see what's out there, and then start on a bib and or the proposal. You could do that. It's up to you, okay? But use this space to get that work started. That's gonna make, make your weekend a lot easier because you should be doing some of this homework over the weekend, unfortunately. Um, but I wanna give you a foothold into it. Now, of course, um, I'm here. If you want me, if you have a question for me or if you want me to look at something, like, hey, I found this thing or hey, I wrote, some sentences, or what do you think about this? Is this a good place to start? Whatever you want, all right? I'm here for that. Uh, otherwise, I always have a bunch of crap I have to do, so I'm gonna be up here just kind of watching you. Um, but as a reward, I will let you out early-ish. Right. So just a few more items, and I'll cut you loose. Let's go do whatever it is you do after this class. Um, I'm not gonna go back over the homework. I, I mentioned that already. It's on the syllabus, trust you guys. Sometimes that trust is ill-founded, but thats I don't think that's got much to do with me. Anyway, um, your homework is still there. You still want to do that. Um, also, just so we're clear, I haven't gotten a lot of this this semester, but I do get at least a little bit every semester. I never assign you things for fun. Like, it's always just trying to get you to build the paper as we go. Um, so I understand, for instance, that this, the summer is crazy and we do things really fast. Um, it astounds me how many people that apparently work in school don't know how school works. I don't. I just, whatever that was, it could wait. It really could. It could wait. Anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, um, but I assign you this stuff because it really does help you to do it along the way. A proposal forces you now to try to come up with some kind of an argument. Is it going to be your final argument that you decide on? I hope not, but it's a start to it. Same thing with your bids, same thing with all that stuff. I just try to make you do it along the way so you don't throw yourself from a rooftop at the end when you're faced with all of it, right? Anyway, what do we have coming up? I wanted to remind you, first of all, the revision for paper one, if you decide to do that, it is optional. I looked at it just now. I have a couple actually waiting on me, which so some people are ahead of the game there. 
It's due the 14th, which is why I haven't bothered to look at it yet. Um, so if you want to do that, that is coming up. I don't have a head for dates. I guess that's a week from today. Also, though, um, I just finished uh, yesterday, maybe, uh, grading your second papers. And I've just released the grades and the feedback. In case, I'm worried some people don't know this, I do leave you feedback. I leave you all a voice note. Um, it only gives me three minutes, which kind of sucks. I gotta be like really focused. But uh, if you go to your feedback, there's something you can click on. You can hear my dulcet tones tell you why you got what you got, what, could, what you could improve upon. Um, that's on turn it in for you. And you can revise the second paper if you like. Again, this is optional. Again, the schedule is tight. So here's what I've decided upon, just to give you the full rundown. If you want, uh, want to revise the first paper and you have not yet done that, that is due the 14th, that's a week from today. If you want to revise the second paper, I'm giving you until the 21st, that is two weeks from today. Now all of that is well and good, and that's not so bad, We could, I think any of us could do that. However, of course, all of this is complicated by the fact that you do have a third paper that is due, I believe, on the 23rd. I'm gonna double check that. 23rd? Sweet, yes. 23rd. So, whatever you decide to do, when it comes to revision, all these other assignments, you do have to balance that with what do you have to currently. Because um, I would hate for someone to, for instance, crush a revision, like do really well, and totally screw up their last paper because they spent, spent so much time on it. You know, like, that's counterproductive. That's not really healthy. So you, scheduling is a, is a question for everybody. But anyway, there's that. Last but not least, I did just notice in do, setting all this up while you guys are working uh, that I actually have three uh, papers for paper two that got to me uh, late, so I didn't see them, because Turnin doesn't tell me. Um, I'm gonna get those graded in the next 24 hours. I would say I would do it today, but I'm going home to my kids. I'm not gonna make promises to you, but I will get them in the next 24 hours. And I will email those people to let them know their feedback is up. Uh, so I want them to have enough time to do a revision if they want. Uh, yeah, and that's all I got. Do you guys have any questions for me about the paper we're working on, about revisions, life, Well, on that note, I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you.